So as you've probably gathered, there's quite a lot of cross-pollination between different projects in Linux Foundation. Uh, and for those of you who are familiar with it, the OpenChain project has been collaborating with projects like SPDX for a long time. OpenChain operates at a very high level. It's focused on what? Around some business process standards. The OpenChain's founding focus was license compliance. More recently, it's been working on security assurance or security compliance. And I wanted to flag the second item as something for your attention. You may be familiar with OpenChain on the license compliance front. And as you can see, some of the ideas and work products from OpenChain that go from what into how then go into projects like SPDX on implementation. On the security side, we've got something that's been cooking for a while and uh, may be of interest to you. Uh, this is a security standard, a sister standard to the license compliance that we've had in market for several years. Uh, this particular process standard has completed its ISO ballots. Um, it describes the process management for a quality secure, security assurance program. And uh, it's already available as a de facto standard. There's already self-certification material out there. There's already companies conforming to it, such as LG Electronics and BlackBerry. Uh, it's a bit of a milestone for the OpenChain project to go from making one process standard into two. It's a, a transformation for us into having these sister standards. Uh, and of course, that kicks off other discussions about should open chain or could open chain make more sister standards. Those discussions, uh, of course, are happening inside the open chain project itself. Uh, and you're very welcome to be part of it. As Gary said, with SPDX, you can very quickly find out where their meetings are, and anyone can join in. OpenChain is the same. Go to openchainproject.org forward slash participate, and then do so if you wish. But the reason I wanted to flag security for you now, today, is that as a business process standardization project, um, we are in a slightly different place to many other projects. We're involved in a long tail of the supply chain. And as organizations meet our standards, our specifications, and as they begin to adopt the idea of, well, what should we do? They naturally turn to the how. So when it comes down to the details of managing open source security, and naturally you need SBOMs, um, we will, of course, be redirecting people into this project uh, where hopefully they can not only use SPDX but also benefit from this community's experience of you know, how do you implement uh, something like SPDX, what do you do next, and so on and so forth. Um, if you are interested in the very high-level what process side, uh, we would appreciate your feedback. We do have active discussions already about the next iteration of this standard as with our license compliance standard. Um, and we don't have any particular requirements for people to contribute except that they show up. Now, if you're familiar with ISO standards, you may be familiar that there's often a cost to get an ISO standard. In our case, there isn't. Uh, we're not only providing the standards uh, on our website for free, but uh, ISO has a specific page for the type of ISO standard we are, where you can download them uh, from ISO for free as well, which means, and SPDX. <laughs> <laughs> I think if I recall correctly, so the first, first yes, I was getting to that. <laughs> So um, 14 years, 15 years ago now, I think uh, the Linux Foundation made Linux standard base as a standard. And then you know, many years later, uh, OpenChain uh, became an ISO standard in 2020, SPDX uh, almost immediately after in 2021. And if I recall correctly, um, I think our security standard is standard number three, though there is a much larger pipeline. And in case you're not familiar with it, the Linux Foundation has the joint development foundation which does a lot of standardization work. Anyway, a lot of that's very high level, won't affect you too much, but we are here in OpenChain doing process 
management around security as well as license compliance. We're very high level. We're about what, not how. We have extensive reference material, but we also redirect people into projects like this for implementation. And for that reason, I hope we'll be sending you many new friends. And I hope also that you will look at what we're doing, uh, how it can impact the supply chain, and help us make it better in the next revisions. That's all. Thanks very much for making space, Kate and Rose. It was much appreciated. And uh, I'll be around if you have any questions. Thank you.